Well, we're continuing our visits with the letter winners of distinction in the class of 2016. Tracy Rude Brown is with us, a former rower here. And Tracy, uh, rowing a sport that takes such a great level of dedication, looks like you've used that uh, to make your college experience better in your time at your college. Definitely. I mean, um, I think that one of the beautiful things about rowing is that um, you can step in at different levels and continue at different levels. And um, while my competitive days are over, I still really enjoy getting out and I'm on the water several days a week. Sure. What appealed to you about the sport in the first place? And have you found that that's changed over the course of your life at all? Well, um, I had very poor hand-eye coordination, okay. which I think is sort of indicative of a lot of rowers. Um, but I was really strong, and um, I loved being outdoors, and, and I uh, started rowing when I was a junior in high school, and um, I really wanted to come to Newhouse, so uh, I put in a big pitch hard with the coach at the time, and, and they took me on. So, the rest is history. You're in Red Autry, another of our honorees this year, and uh, Red, a guy that has chosen to keep his time here on campus and come back to Syracuse University. What, what does this place mean to you? You know, it's a, it's a place where um, it helped me uh, become, you know, a young adult into a man. Uh, fond memories. Uh, just grew up a lot here. You know, back in those days, you could probably, I mean, you wasn't in a rush to get out of here. But uh, really, just a whole bunch of uh, memories and learning lessons, and, uh, you know, it's home. Headlining our list of letter winners of distinction this 2016 class is Daryl Moose Johnston, who came to the Orange from uh, Luport High School out uh, in the western part of the state, and the rest is history. Uh, Daryl, congratulations, first of all, and welcome back. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, so happy to be back. It's something we've been trying to coordinate with schedules <laughs> the last couple of years, so the Thursday night really helped this year. So once it was on a Thursday, Matt Palin called me up and said, let's just make this work. Sure, and I'm sure it's not the first time he's called you up for something fun, <laughs> which is good. Uh, what's this honor mean to you? Well, this is where everything started for me. Uh, I would not be where I am today had it not been for Syracuse University. So this means a tremendous amount to me. And I had an opportunity to talk to the football team yesterday. And the message I wanted to get across to them was, you know, enjoy this time. Uh, this is where you meet and you bond with the friends that you're going to have for the rest of your life. And shared a few stories from our group at that time. And, and it is true. And I've been very blessed to go on and do some, some, some pretty fun things and, and been around some really, really good people. And, you know, people will ask me questions. You know, what's your... What's your favorite game and your best memory? For me, it's the Syracuse West Virginia game in '87 here, and they're like, "Really? You've got you've got Super Bowl championships?" And it's just that game just resonates with with our team, with everything that was going on at that time at the university.